Hey everybody, this is Rennie the Wild Horse. And I'm going to play a cassette tape of myself way back in December 25th, 1979 on Christmas Day when I was 15 years old. Hit the goalie's midsection. He was screaming with pain. 
so the amp, so all the guys, you know, they were, oh, these people, they're walking on the ice. They couldn't walk very fast. Goalie was hurting real bad. He was turning blue, red, you name the color. Whatever you think. See, then they were all walking around the side of the ice. <laughs> Whoa, we, yes, sir. My voice is a little sore, excuse me, I got a cold. Tonight is Christmas Day, 1979. Let me tell you about the 70s, alright? 70s treated me real nice. See, back in the 60s, when I started my first day in kindergarten at Jenny Lynn School, all the kids punched me. I don't know, I think this one real big kid that once punched me. They had a whole class attack. Only one girl saved me. If I ever knew her, I'd thank her right now. I'd say that, yes. But, you know, then when I got out of there, I went to Madison. Well, I don't know, I mean, you know, I didn't make sure no the kids laughed at me or not, you know. Well, let me tell you this. I know Madison's kind of a brutality type of school. You know, that kids are mean, the parents are mean, the teachers are mean. Richard Stafford and I are the only, well, I'll put Robert in too. It's, he is a pretty nice guy. We were great guys at school. I mean, there's guys like Robert Brown, Alan McKissick, Al Terrell, those guys fight. Jeff Yantis, he was my friend, see. Trouble is, he always gets into fights, you know. He loses, every time he, like, he loses a game, you know. Pardon my mistake. He goes balling. I don't know why. He just cries himself to death. But, it's a problem. You can't blame him, you know. No. See, oh, wait a minute. Oh, my joke, I forgot. <laughs> well, all the guys lay on a slip, see. They check and see if they're all right. I mean, check and see if he's all right. <laughs> Made a mistake, I'm sorry. Well, they looked at him. You know, they were so slow, it took about 30 minutes to get the stretcher in. They went out, the guy fell down three times, by the time he got him to the hospital, he was dead. The doctor said he was dead about an hour ago. See, that game was Philadelphia against Pittsburgh, see? It was a guy named Clarence Jones. He was a center, you see. He only had one goal and two assists in 45 games. That's not very good, though. Clarence, he is a nice guy. I met him once. The trouble was, he get in the fights, he was a real win. No one, any, any stupid hockey player can take it. Any hockey player. I'm not saying John Wensick, a tough guy, or Jack Carlson. I'm saying, like, Uff Nilsson and Bobby Smith. They're good scores, yes, sir. But they're wimps. They can't fight. No way. Now, you know what's the uh, thing I hate the most? When these people, you know, look at cameras all the time. You know, looking right, staring right at you. You know, like they talk about soap and something like that. I hate that. I tell you, I hate that. Where is I getting that? Let me think. Oh, yeah, about Robert Brown. Guys, yeah. Well, he's, he used to go on the snowbanks, went up, threw snowballs, jumped off swings. The swings aren't there anymore. I went there last time, 1979. But then we go around swing, we jump off the swings about 30 feet high. I wouldn't really get my knees scraped. Tell you the truth, it is true, you know. I would have got my knees scraped except for one thing. There's a kid in the way. That kid wouldn't have been there. to get out of school, I know. But then, I didn't like Mrs. Carroll in a way. I don't know why I did before. I told my mom, I said, yo, hi, Ma, what's going on? Yeah. Uh, Ma, let me tell you something. Everything I'm saying is true, okay? So don't think I'm lying, okay? No. You see, then after that, I went to Mr. Larson's where we took, took several field trips. Type. We I skated in the Lake of the Isles, you know. They have probably a few islands. I don't know. I should go there and live there. <laughs> I'm not going to go to an island. But after a while, I used to talk to Ma. Oh, if you're there, Ma, listening there. Yeah. Well, he's always like, talk
talk about Baker Island, Howland Island, and, oh, all these islands. You know what those islands are? Oh, so dumb. Those islands are for missile bases or tanks and ships and everything. I mean, I don't think very well. I don't. I should go on a very small deserted island. Take pictures. Take some coconuts and sell it back. For a dime piece. <laughs> well. But there's one trouble. Gasoline. That's the trouble. Just imagine. <clears throat> That about 23 years old. How much gas probably be then? Probably two dollars and ten cents. More than that. I don't see why he raises gas prices. They're just trying. Maybe there's a little bit of a shortage. People are cutting down a lot, but they're just trying to do that just to get the price way, way, way up, so you can afford it. But it's gonna be 1980 now. See, pretty soon. I'll be on the air on December 31st at 15 minutes to 12. If you're all there, <laughs> well, I don't know if that'll be the next time on the air, but it might be. Well, I was going to say, <clears throat> now, if you want to talk about a subject, I'll get one for you. It is not sports. It is not about cars. <clears throat> about other countries, okay? Nah, you don't like other countries, I'm sure. School? Nah, yeah, you don't like school either, do you? Nah. It's hard to think of a subject in a way, isn't it? They don't call me anchor boy for nothing, eh? <laughs> but, I mean, everybody says I'm number one, which I ain't. But, you know, I don't like that at all. I really do hate it. So stupid. It's a disgrace to me. Very despicable. Very... I was gonna swear, but you're not supposed to swear on the radio or something. Let me tell you right now. You know where I am right now? Well... I'm not in London, I'm not in Pittsburgh. I'm not in L.A. I'm on a ship going to Tahiti. Well, I'll be seeing you later. I'm in the Caribbean now. I'll be back with you. Goodbye. I was joking about the Caribbean. I'm really at my house, dude. I've never been to the Caribbean in my life. The other state I've been in besides this crummy old state. Oh, Minnesota ain't so bad. Probably the second most force in the United States next to Michigan. Look at all the deer they have. Look at all the fish they have. Look, they have snowmobile trails like you would believe. But, we all year round recreation, which ain't true. Some summers, like, uh, let me think. Like the one back in 1809, uh, when it really snowed all summer, all the time. See, blankets of snow. Minnesota didn't complain. They didn't. Of course they don't complain. They never do. They think that's so strong because of the weather. That's false. Think of the people in Sahara, huh? Think of them. They get hot all over. They get red. Understand? Sahara, they're good. Not all of them. There's grave robbers, and, you know. But, you know, all that stuff, you know, like. But there's this uh, guy named uh, William Conrad. He's a great actor, I can tell you that. If he's here right now, I mean, he talks some great. If he's here right now, I'd say, William, best actor I've ever met. Hey, I'll tell you about Christy McNichol, if you don't mind. Don't keep me mad, okay? Christy was here right now. Big kiss. Um, Chris, 
Christy, will you please come here? Oh, you want me to call it Chris, okay. Uh, I got kissed. I got kissed by Christy McNichol. Okay, Chris, then, okay.
well, I'd say Minneapolis, everybody loves, you know. And, uh, find my way and go right back there again. Well, well, I want to put a little place in my pits, maybe, or something. Well, hey. Right? 
Yes. Now, if, if you would have been born on Christmas Day, I didn't want to be born on Christmas Day. I was born on New Year's Day. Oh, hey, I'll work for I'm saying, what if suppose you were born on Christmas Day? I'm 
on the air now. I'm on the air. Don't you guys understand? Man, oh man, you got a 1500 a show. I want to get $25,000 and do you worth a cent. What are you talking about? Hey, you're not. You're not qualified. Can you read and write? No. And you can't be an announcer. You gotta read and write. Did you ever go to school in your life? I went through first grade, they got out of school. That's not much schooling. Hey, they didn't have kindergarten then, did they? No, they had nursery school, I called it kindergarten.
seeing ya. Whatever. Goodbye. That was back when I was 15 years old. And I didn't make any sense. And I sounded a lot different too. And now... I'm an old man that doesn't make sense. So this is Randy Wildhorse, and as always, have a super duper great day.